folks and welcome back to our Missouri 4R FS22 Rack Series series and last time we earned a lot of money we got our brand new or new to us equipment so we got a claw structure a large one and a massive car in that that was all purchased used second hand on top of that we purchased our first plot of land field 2 field or plot 3 whatever it is and we chaffed that corn in that so that is ready to prep so in this episode what we're going to be doing is first of all determine a will on that so in terms of what crops to plant but first of all let's get rid of the wheel on that for our contract to do in this episode so we've got plowing and harvesting so let's spin a wheel and see what we get so the wheel has determined us to do plowing so what i've got done is i've released this so we got fields 33 and field 12 to do with this massive plow and to be fair I have never used these kind of plows before like these ones here in what three years of FS22 that coming out and first of all playing FS19 back in what 2020 so for the first time in four years I'm going to be using an actual proper plow so or one of the large ones at least so and yeah I will be doing most of this so I think yeah we're heading down there so 33 so let's go and pop you there but yeah so before we go any further we also need to do an economy wheel to determine how much we get paid for it that time we got easy however the time before we got hard in that or we did hard for the main contract so let's see what the wheel determines today So right, once again the wheel has determined to be easy now, so you know what, I am not going to argue, so yeah, we'll get these contracts work done first of all, and yeah, whilst we're in the early stages of the episode, I will yeah, show you that, show the work in that, so, because yeah, first time using these large plows now in what, four years of playing FS and that, yeah, I think, yeah, sort of, oh, like, J July 2020, June 2021 when I first played FS, yeah, my first video came out in December of that year, so yeah. Four years, four and a half years almost. And first I'm using a large proper plow, so this shall be an experience for all of us. Also, I want to get field two planted in that. Of course that means do we lease or purchase equipment for it. So this will be a plow, spade or whatever. Yeah, because for the plowing we got plowing, subsoiling and spading. And then, yeah, we need to determine what crop we can do because here's why I'm doing the episode in October because that gives us more options in terms with what crops to plant in the ground so we can plant wheat, barley, grass, Aussie radish, and rye, along with alfalfa. As long as I don't get Aussie radish or alfalfa, I won't be too fast. Alfalfa is like grass, Aussie radish is basically a cold. You cultivate a fertilizer say onto it. But yeah, something like rye I'll be with mines. Or even grass or even one of the grains now, you know, get a bit of straw towards the end of the year and that. Yeah, to be fair, either of those would be fine. Yeah, just not Aussie radish and alfalfa for me because I want to make our own money in that and also I've decided in this episode, depending on what wheel spin we get for the wheel of land we're going to be purchasing so how this works is if I quickly show you we don't look at the field numbers we look at the plot number because potentially we can get like forestry plots actually yeah like things like plot 20 that is like a forestry area so yeah we purchased plot 3 obviously 42 and 37 are the question because that is the town area and I made sure we were going to have that at least because yeah we want to do a wheel spin off 35, plot 1, and then plot 10. So how that will go is like 1, 2, then 3. We'll do a wheel spin because, yeah, I want to get a farm set up. Yeah, field 10 or plot 10 smallest. Plot 1, I wouldn't mind, but to be fair, I think 35 is a good average because if we get lucky and get 36 and 34, that gives us access to either three fields or one large field. And yeah, you know, have a proper setup going in that. But yep, yeah, that's all determined by wheel spin, so plow, speeders, or subsoil, that's going to be one wheel. 
and then the crop we're going to be planting into the ground and yeah I think that is pretty much it for at least what we're going to be doing in this episode we'll see in this month I think so alrighty then so I'm going to unfold the plow I know usually with plows you go up and down so it's unfolding so I think what is this like 4 meters, 5 meters? but this is the proper way to plow so yeah up and down it is I think to be fair and yep yeah, you know what we're doing a good job because yeah you know I can safely cheat in that purchase our own stuff in that and yeah get a cheap plow least or whatever but I think for the contracts I do at least for this plant contract because that's why we use the small plow yeah, I think time to use a large plow for the first time and then maybe get purchased on our own plow and that. Because yeah, it could be a plow, subsoldier or spader. And that is what we're going to be purchasing. So I want to get equipment purchasing. Because yeah, at the moment we're on bang on 142 grand. Because yeah, from that chaff we made some decent money from that. Because yeah, again, I want my grass now because then, you know, get a potential better yieldage, especially when doing the fertilizing, so because yeah, that's going to be another wheel spin solid or liquid fertilizing, so all of that is going to be just wrapped up into one, I think because yeah, what fertilizer do we use? again, that depends what equipment, so let's say for example, we, for our field we get, you know, solid fertilizer I can have free rating then on what fertilizer we purchase Long as you can do solid fertilizer, lime is optional, but primarily it's the solid fertilizer net. But yeah, it determines what we caught in the market net and really how much we can afford to spend because I do want to get our own farm at some point and I want to get our own field in that, so. Or more fields, like larger fields, because field 2 is a very small dinky field. Let's see if we can get like field 1. Yeah, I'm getting, I know that's what, 50, 54 grand? And even the large ones. No, sorry, 554 grand. 900 grand for field 22. That does include some forestry areas. And actually, I think, does this contain, yeah, some bit of forestry in that? So, if we could do forestry in that, you know, that'd be absolutely amazing. I'm going a bit too wide there. But yeah, you know what? Using this plow for the first time, not too shabby, I'll say. So, how far I've done with this contract? Please tell me we've done quite a bit. Ah, oh, 4%. So, this is going to take us a little bit of time. So, I'm not going to do time lapse. I'm just going to do this off camera. Get this done. And then, yeah. We'll get the bill spins going for fields and what crop to plant. Because, yeah, that's going to be the main focus of the episode. The contracts are just a side hustle. And to be fair, we can get much money from the amount of work we're doing, you know. If we use one of these 9 meter cheap plow subsoilers and that, then, yeah. We can make this money very quickly, but... We're using what we're provided by the farmer and that, so... It is what it is. And I'll see you folks in a few seconds. So alright, we're at the shopping at, and yeah, I'll full park up here because we need to start purchasing equipment. So first of all, we need to spin a bill off the plow, speeders, or subsoil in terms of what we're going to be using. So let's go and claim these contracts. Not too bad. Actually, should that be more? No, no. I was looking at. But anyways, that on site. So yeah, now we're at 157 grand. I did use a little bit of time to have a work on that whilst I was having a bit of tea in that. So yeah, after I have a bit of a nice evening meal, or early evening meal, let's spin the wheel. So yeah, spin the wheel for what we're going to be using for ploughing, and then we'll spin the wheel for the crops we can do. So just remind, in terms with, you know, the ploughing stuff, so these are going to be like your normal ploughs. And then we also do have subsoilers, so... So yeah, that's plows, subsoilers, and then we've got speeders. God forbid, please not a speeder. They're all got, got that in mind, so if you get a speeder, I'm going to be purchasing that. 
the RT M5 because it's 5 meters at 6 miles an hour compared to everything else and it's 4 and a half grand. But yeah, to be fair, I really want to get a plow because then really options are open for us. We can go with the larger plows if we want, SPM ones, the Dizzle 6 M9 MT, obviously that would be good for the 9 meter if that's the case then, 19 grand. But yeah, plenty of options for us. But yeah, let's figure out what we're going to be purchasing by spinning the wheels. So right, just spun three wheels, so uh, we are subsoiling, also we're we'll replanting wheat, and also I thought spin the wheel of the land, and what you behold, we got plot 10, so actually finally we get our first farmyard, so that is absolutely amazing, also that comes with fields 11 and 12, so yeah, we're planting wheat in field 2. Because, yep, yeah. unless we can get all the money we need for that land um, by next month, Nat, which is a possibility, it depends on the contracts we get next month, Nat, because, yep, yeah, now it is time to start drilling. So, I'm going to go with subsoilers. Uh, looks like we're going to be had to purchase in this, so fair yeah. enough. And then, yep, yeah, since we are obviously going to be doing wheat, we need to do a drill, so go under to our cedars. Because, yeah, planters can't redo really wheat. Unless I go with something like the McKinsey stuff and that. McKinsey, not McKinsey. I don't want to say McKinsey all the time. Or the Great Plains, but... For now, since obviously the crop type we're doing requires a normal cedar and that in general, I think to be honest, 77 grand. I am tempted to go with the solitaire 12 because that holds a fair bit of seed. 8 meters at 9 miles an hour compared to 6 meters. Down the road, I do want something a lot bigger like, like that. The Porsche Pronto, but. We need a farm now. If we get that farm, then that gives us two more fields to do. So, I am going to go with this. So, narrow tires, sure. Color, let's go with black. 77,400. Because, yeah, really, there's no other options for us at the moment. Actually, also, yeah, for fertilizing, so I will got this manure and sorry. So, we do a wheel for that. So,. It'll be one of these four we purchased in for fertilizer and that. However, also a mulcher is needed, so we'll cause we'll get all the fields one hundred percent, so again I think I'll have to go with the slightly more budget option, so six meters at nine miles an hour. Go with you, nine meters. And then lastly we're gonna need a roller. And ooh, in terms of rollers and that, that is an iffy one. That is, to be fair, I think to be honest, it's got to be that again. So, so yeah, <coughs> that leaves us with 52 grand after purchasing our first set of equipment. And now we need to get another 150 grand to get plot oh, 10 and that. So. So yeah, which one's the mulcher? I forgot already, so... Mulcher is... The red one. This is going to be confusing, that's for sure. Yeah, mulcher and that, that's what we need, so yeah. Now, ooh, do we get another tractor? I do have an option to get another tractor, but I will need to return my wheel spin off small medium or large so uh, to be honest field 2 is a small plot of land at the moment even with plot 10 we're going to get that has fields 11 and 12. All this will be done by a single tractor net 
But yeah, it's just now it's all come down to get our own harvester now, and that would be good. I think come next year now we'll have enough money together in that. And then yeah, again we can do a build of new or old. Because yeah, we've still got an option from last episode to purchase any of those if I wish, I could plow on that. But I'm not going to, so I want to mulch, plow. Because yeah, I didn't check whether or not it needed plowing. So actually if we look at what needs plowing, yeah, that needed plowing, so I knew that anyway, especially for a lot of these fields and that. Yeah, so it's a good choice by us to do that. Well, anyways, let's get cracking on with the mulching. And then start drilling the wheat in. And yeah, there are some fillable silos, so we can purchase seed in bulk if needed. So, yeah. Let's get on this and see how far we can get. Queen of Hearts When everyone folds your forge to holds You're placing your bed Showing no regret Close your eyes to hide your lies Roll the dice You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass Got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass But you're bound to break down bound to Get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. You're playing it cool, bending all the rules, talking way too loud, and you're talking rude. You're playing a game, driving me insane. Your heart is back, and it's a fact, no turning back. You got me tiptoeing around. Trespass, but you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots. When I use my witchcraft, when I use my witchcraft, I got my moves, I got my song. When I turn my mojo on, I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling strong. It won't take long when I use my witchcraft. Well, right, it is quarter five, and yeah, we are done prepping this field. All it needs now is fertilizer, technically lime, but it's too late for the lime. But yeah, fertilizer and that, so again, we do have options, so we can do it via four ways. Liquid fertilizer, solid fertilizer, manure spread, slurry, and yeah, that is it. Obviously with Noor and Surrey, I will be purchasing those as well. You know, separately, because yeah, we don't have any cows. And to be honest, I don't really have any modded ones in, so I may get some mods in, if you get that option. But I think, yeah, you know what, before we wrap up yesterday, let's spin the wheel one more time, baby. And yeah, let's see what we can actually get in terms of to be honest, I'm hoping if we get a solid fertilizer, then we can do lime as well. But again, if we get liquid fertilizer, then we can do also herbicide. So, solid or liquid fertilizer is my option. However, if you get manure or surrey, then oh uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting because the idea is to purchase equipment. I've got enough money to get liquid fertilizers in, plenty of options. Muck spreaders, really only dinky ones, and they will require. A lot of topping up, so yeah. Hopefully, we can get lucky on the wheel, but who knows? So, now spin that wheel, baby, and find out. I 
And yes, it is solid for either, so I wish we'd done this earlier because I said we could have limed, so it is what it is. We do have options, but I think for now I'm going to go with the option the AC2. Stickers, I like the black on that stairs. Let's go without stairs and I think, to be fair. And, yep, yeah, nine and a half grand. Obviously that's into our funds, but we need to get that for raising done because that's going to help us with your bonus. Also, again, contracts as well, because, yeah, we've got a plow. Even though it's a very small plow. we got a drill. And now we've got a fertilizer spreader, so long term it's going to help us with the contracts and that. You know, get more money coming in from that. But yeah, I am just excited we got Sly Fertilizer. Because that means we can do light main on our new field and I'm going off into a field. Not our next field. Yeah, that would be nice to have. Field 30. A large field like that would come a long way. But again, with plot 10, that gives us opportunities, you know, to set the farm up and that. Especially now we've getting more and more equipment coming in. Yeah, that is really neat, is it? Sheds and that, storage and that. When it comes to building the farm and that, that is... Really just not much options I could do in terms of wheel spin, so it's going to be a bit of a car blanche in a way, in terms of what we do to the farm. But yeah, if I want animals, pens and that, yeah, that's all determined by wheel spins. But things like sheds, silos, I think it's fair to say I can have free reign on that because... I can wheel spin every fine detail if I want it type of silo, but yeah, I think that on that part, silos, sheds, that can be down to us, but anything like production wise related, uh, yeah, animals as I already mentioned, that's all going to be determined by wheel spin. Anyway, let's go and grab our silo spreader, get some filled up from silos just over there, I'll show you that in a sec, and then yep. We'll go and get the, that field fertilized. And then I think that's where we wrap up for the day, I think. So yeah, just picked up the spreader. And yeah, this is going to be the little market here. So we don't want lime, we want fertilizer. So hook me up, baby. And yeah, it hasn't really affected that weight on this. So we're still good on that. So again, the perk of having a large tractor. So that costs us... Four thousand pounds or four thousand dollars not pounds. Oh, that's gonna be a bit of a hurt, but this should Yeah, I think even with a small field like that, it's gonna be worth it. At the end of the day, we got our spreader, that's all that matters at the end of the day, so let's go and do a little bit of spreading, shall we? There we go, we got our first spreader and this will not take long at all, like literally thirty seconds to a minute at most. Yeah, there we go. I prefer like literally like two passes, maybe a tiny bit on the third, but yeah, at the end of the day, this is a very small field. There we go. And yeah, we didn't need quite as near how throws we did, but again, as I mentioned, this will be handy for contracts and that, so have a bit in the tank already. Saves us a safe you no know, well, offer as a contract on for the next store. And yeah, we're just gonna get crack on with that. And without having to worry a thing, so there we go. Nice little bit of rising. And jobs a good one, so a little stretch over here I forgot. Was turning around. And yeah, that is the frozen done. I think, let's see if we can park up our tractor. No, we can't. Before, let's see if we can fill our tractor underneath our little sheds. But that's going to be a firm no. Yep. <laughs> no on that. Well, at least we fit the further spreader in that, so... Eh, if it's something now at least, but... Yep. Yeah, sooner we can purchase this farm, the better. However, as we've already mentioned, 204 grand, so we're going to need... Now, another 170 grand, so it's bang. Yeah, this is just turned five o'clock. I think I'm going to wrap it up. So, next time, what we'll do is do the wheel spin in, wheel spin in November. Losing my voice a little bit, and yep, 
grass should be ready so hopefully if we get lucky with the bee then we'll get about all of this maybe fields five through three if i should get the grass up five not through three five three and all that lot because yeah we get all that done contracts again especially for silage i forget it on easy economy then yeah, I think that would be nice because yes, that time we did it, it was on, on hard economy, doing all of that, pretty much. And field five. And that got us what, about a hundred grand, give or take, so we need a hundred and seventy. So ideally if you get lucky for the third time getting <laughs> getting easy three times in a row, that would be absolutely amazing. Even on normal economy. If you get normal economy at least then you know what? I think we're going to be in a good shape. But again, depends on what contracts we get. If you get just the one, then automatically we'll do the bathing. But I guarantee we'll get some... Actually, if we're getting more harvesting contracts, I think so. So, yep. Fields. Let's get rid of that. So, yeah. Have the look. So, fields at 11. Also, yep. Yeah, we'll get some contracts on these. So... Soybeans, corn, sunflower, sugar beet, depends on which crop it is. And is there any other big ones? Oh, uh, no, not really, just like the likes of 18, 23, and 25. And that is corn, corn, and sunflower. So, if we can get the corn again, that'd be nice to do, but again, depends on the contracts we get in that. But, anyways, that's gonna leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the button. Feel free to down below. If you're sure to please be my guest. If you're not, subscribe to the channel yet, please consider. But for you to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, it's be Farmer Ever Extreme. And I'll see you all uh, very soon.